Hi, I'm Freddie Victoria, and this is our very first Trade Tips video clip. Here we have mounts that we custom cast for projects. Most of the designs of these are based on uh, 18th century designs. And what we're going to be doing today is looking at how the gilding technique used on a brass mount helps us determine or confirm the date of an antique piece. Here we have a collection of 18th century German and French brass mounts that have been mercury gilded. Mercury gilding is basically uh, an amalgam of gold and mercury that's hand applied to the brass and heated to, uh, so that it bonds and gilds the brass in the process. But because it's expensive it's only applied to the show side and on the reverse side you get this sort of uneven distribution of the gilding where it sort of bleeds through and the when the metal's heated the mercury burns off first so that where the gold is thinnest on the reverse side it creates a sort of burnt reddish look which you see here 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 a little bit as well as here Later, in the 19th century, when electricity became more widely available, um, the m major process changed to an electroplating process for the gilding, where the item was, the mount, was completely submerged in the bath so that all sides were gilded. Of course, people try and fake mercury gilding to make mounts look older, or appear older, and they do this by uh, taking the mount and applying lacquer to the interior surface and uh, so when they apply the lacquer when they submerge the mount into the bath the rest of the piece gets gilded but the gilding won't stick where the lacquer has been applied and that leads to a very clear line of delineation between where the gilding ends and the lacquered surface begins and you don't have any of that reddish burnt coloration that you get from the mercury gilding. And you know, they do a pretty good job of trying to make it appear as mercury gilding with the uneven application of the lacquer like you see here, or even making the lacquer application appear like little brush strokes you see here. But you don't have, like I said, you don't have that reddish border between the two colors, just a clear uh, clear delineation between the two. So I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of the two gilding processes, mercury gilding and electrolytic bath gilding. Most of the time we use these just as dating tools because today all gilding is done with the bath process. Uh, there is still some mercury gilding to be done but it's illegal in most places and extremely expensive. So thank you very much and we'll see you next time.